Hey, how's your day? Today we're going to look at Photo AI 3.3.3 and its autopilot. There's been a lot of stuff going on on the forums and everything, and everybody's kind of a little bit mystified on what they should do with this autopilot, and I think it's a great thing. You can totally customize it or not even use it at all. So let's take a deep dive into it, and I'll show you what's going on. All right, we got Topaz Labs open here. Let's go to help and about, and we got version 3.3.3. So right now, obviously, Autopilot isn't doing anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop a picture in there. So I'll minimize this. And I'll go in here and grab a pic. And I'll just drag it right on here. Now what it's going to do is it's going to look at the pic and give us some uh, recommendation on what it should do. Now, it wants to denoise, it wants to recover the face, and it wants to upscale. You don't have to do any of these, and it hasn't applied anything yet. Nada, nothing. And the reason that is, is because I've got that turned off. So let's go under Edit and Preferences, and we'll go to Autopilot. Now, there's way too many things we can do. But if yours is turned on like this, turn it off. So you can customize and do whatever you wish. Now we got the personalization, the presets. Now the upscale and resize, I've got it on auto, but I rarely do that. I usually use Gigapixel for that. But you can set your resize type, output resolution, everything. Now as far as denoise and de-blur and that kind of thing goes, I just have it on normal. Denoise, medium. The default model, because there's so many of them here, but I always put it on strong right in the middle. I'll show you in a minute. Now, if you're working with raw, you can do whatever you wish, the same thing. Sharpen, right in the middle. Should always be in the middle, so you have an option of either going more or less. When it comes to your options, always keep your things right in the middle, so you have the option of going stronger or weaker, just like dialing in a stereo there. You don't want everything blazing or not enough. Keep it right in the middle at 12 o'clock. And you can always choose what you want for the subject. You have lots of different options. And I'll show you, you don't have to use that either later on. Now the rest of the options, recover faces, same thing. You can set anything you want, customize it to how you want it to go. Now, the default of everything, you know, the text and all that, do what you wish. You don't have to do what it wants. Now I've got to adjust lighting into right in the middle so I can go more or less, and I'll show you why later. Same with the balance color. And of course, there's like way too many shortcuts that you can remember. Or if you have a stream deck like I do, take these shortcuts and put them in your stream deck so you don't have to memorize them. You can just hit a button. Once you've done everything, you can hit save. Now when I'm basically doing pictures like someone's uh, selfie or something, I like to do three things. I like to denoise, so let's denoise. And it's right in the middle, so you have an option of going normal or extreme. Let's close that. Denoise, you can tell right even in her shirt, it's taking it out. All right. Now, second thing I want to do, I want to recover the face. And everything should be normal, except I want generation one to start off with. Always start with that. Hit the X. It'll do its thing, and it's enhanced. Let's check that out. Very well done. The last thing I want to do is I want to sharpen. So let's go sharpen. I like using Lens Blur V2. That's a really good one that I use most of the time. Natural and Refocus are getting really good as well. So let's check things out. Great, it sharpened it up just right. Now, let's put that over here. Now, before we do anything, if you've got a multitude of pictures that you want to do and they're like this, doing a selfie, save it as a preset. So go over here, save edits as a new preset. And we'll save it as regular selfie or whatever you want to call it, save. Okay, now let's say I've never even done this picture before. Here, let's close the image, clear it. Now, let's bring it up again. And of course, it's gonna do its thing here, but you don't have to. Let's go to Add Enhancements, 
And there it is, regular selfie. So let's hit that. And automatically it's gonna do exactly what I want it to do. Now, if you wanna change something, let's say the sharpen, and you don't wanna do the whole subject, you can change that. Go to custom, and I like using the object selection brush, it's really cool. Now in sharpen, I just wanna do her hair. So let's go up to here, edit the selection and go to custom. Now, you can choose your brush, whatever brush you want to use. It's going to look to see what's going on. There's a part there. There's a little part there. Now, if it goes nuts, just hit the erase and erase the parts you don't want. Simple as that. Change the brush if you have to. Go to a regular brush. Pipe it out. Or fix it. You can also hold your Alt key down and make those corrections exactly how you want them for erasing. All right, that's what I want. And let's fix this over here. Go back to controls. And now just the hair has been enhanced besides the face. You can do anything else you want as well by adding another sharpen selection. The thing I want to do now is I want to make the lighting in her face a little bit better. So let's add enhancement and we'll go to adjust lighting. And again, edit the selection, custom. Let's take a regular brush and paint. Make it a bit bigger. And let's just go over her face. Make her face a little bit brighter than it is. This is great. Okay, let's go back to controls. It'll do its thing, and now the face is bright, but it's a little too much. So what's best to do is back it off to minus 25. And let's zoom in. And I want to kind of match what's going on with her neck here. So grab the strength, and let's bring it up to, let's say, minus 10. Oh, it's not bad. Let's bring it up to zero. There we go. Now her face and her neck kind of match. But if you want, bring it up to another 10 or 11. Zoom out. And now that's exactly how I want it. But the cool thing is now, do it again. Save this as a preset. Selfie with lighting. Now you have two presets that you can load automatically whenever you want. And they're up here in the Add Adjustments. Regular selfie, selfie with lighting. Great stuff. You don't have to rely on the auto stuff. Let's just shut that off for right now. So the next time you bring in a pick, we can do exactly what you want. You don't have to rely on the autopilot. Well, there you go. The autopilot is a great thing. And Topaz Labs, keep it up, guys. This is great stuff. But you don't have to do it. You don't have to let it do anything you want to your pictures. Define what you want. Save it as a preset. And if you're doing bulk, if you save as many presets as you can, you will run into situations where one of your presets will do all your bulk. I'm not saying it's gonna work for every pick, but having presets is a great way of getting your job done faster and maybe more efficient. If this tutorial helped you in any way, please like and subscribe, that'd be great, guys. It'll help me. If you're interested in Topaz Labs products, please click my link in the description. I'm Don from Photo 911. See ya.